Breaking. Missouri Gov just activated National Guard in his state. Here's shocking reason why in an unexpected urgent action taken Friday morning, Missouri Governor Eric Greitens woke up and activated the National Guard knowing what was just hours from happening. He wasn't taking any chances and it's a good thing he was proactive, considering the circumstances innocent people in his state could be facing at any moment. The St. Louis area is no stranger to racial violence as it was a battleground of riots which nearly burned the town of Ferguson to the ground almost exactly three years ago today. On August 9, 2014, violent and destructive unrest took over the city and began a trend of this kind of reaction any time an officer does their job. Now, St. Louis could have a repeat of that same destructive reaction at any time with what's about to be announced. This time, Greetens, who is a former Navy SEAL, isn't taking any chances and did what he knew he had to do to protect his state and the citizens within it. It's been six years since a St. Louis police officer was accused of murder and this morning, a judge was announcing his fate in the shooting death of a black suspect. That verdict was expected to not be what racist groups want or what would have happened while Barack Obama was in office. Now that there's a new president in charge, the outcome was in favor of the cop and now riots have already erupted outside the courthouse. This time, the city was more prepared and things aren't going so well for the rioters who had visions of violence and looting as vindication for a suspect being killed six years ago. Conservative Tribune reports, it's a court verdict that could spark Ferguson 2.0 in the St. Louis area and Missouri Governor Eric Greitens wasn't taking any chances with the possibility of riots. A judge on Friday morning announced he was acquitting a former S.T. Lewis police officer of murder in a 2011 shooting, according to CNN, but even the night before, the state was getting ready. According to KSDK-TV, Greedens activated the National Guard in anticipation of the verdict in the trial of St. Louis police officer Jason Stockley, who was charged in the fatal shooting of a black suspect during a chase. As governor, I am committed to protecting everyone's constitutional right to protest peacefully while also protecting people's lives, homes, and communities," Greedon said in a statement Thursday, according to KTVI-TV. Taking the steps to put the Missouri National Guard on standby is a necessary precaution. The Missouri National Guard may be needed to help protect critical infrastructure and free up civilian law enforcement to protect people's right to protest peacefully. These resources take time to get ready. The Missouri National Guard is preparing now to keep people safe. Activists have promised a wave of civil disobedience that could include shutting down highways, airports, or businesses, KTVI noted. It appears that these opportunists have made good on that promise of civil disobedience based on what's happening outside the courthouse now. Officers are fighting back against the swarm of rioters who probably couldn't care less about the suspect who was killed by a cop six years ago. They simply saw an opportunity and excuse to start screaming and hitting people and were more than happy to take it. A witness outside the courthouse caught the violence on tape, in a video that appeared on the Facebook page Tactical SH Asterisk T. It's unlikely that these, probably planted, Protesters know too much about what happened that deadly day in 2011, other than a white cop shot a black suspect. Conservative Tribune explains what really happened. Back in 2011, Stockley shot at the car of Anthony Lamar Smith, a man police were chasing after a suspected drug deal. Smith was killed. Stockley, who pleaded not guilty and waived his right to a jury trial, claims that Smith was reaching for a gun but the only DNA found on the gun in Smith's car was Stockley's. But for St. Louis Circuit Judge Timothy Wilson, prosecutors did not make their case against Stockley. This court, in conscience, cannot say that the state has proven every element of murder beyond a reasonable doubt, or that the state has proven beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant did not act in self-defense, he wrote in the ruling, according to CNN. Missouri residents have every right to fear rioting after the horrific experience of Ferguson from just three years ago is fresh on their minds. 
This has now become a reality once again, but will hopefully not get as far as it did last time, thanks to a proactive governor who clearly knew that activating the National Guard was what he needed to do. We also have a president who isn't going to excuse this bad behavior and side with the criminals, like his predecessor did. No place in America needs a Ferguson 2.0, especially Missouri. Good job, greetings, for being a governor that's pulling out all the stops to protect his city. We don't need no